Ashley and today with Isabella. Hello. Today we are doing, obviously, as you can see in the title, the $20 thrift store challenge. So both of us are going to have a limit of $20, I think. At least that's what I'm going for right now. Um, we'll see how expensive things are, but we're gonna try to find the cheapest stuff at Goodwill and then we'll bring it home and style it with our own stuff. Like obviously we're not gonna be able to buy shoes or like accessories, but Basically, we're gonna get probably like tops and bottoms or whatever we can find for under $20. Come home, style it, maybe cut it, maybe bleach it. And then I guess we will see in the comments below who wins. So yeah, let's go do that now. Okay guys, so we just got to the Goodwill and thank God there was literally one parking spot. But this is the smallest Goodwill I've ever seen in my whole life. Like we're used to Vegas Goodwills and like thrift stores and stuff that are just like all over the place and they're all huge. But this one's literally so tiny. There's like six spots to park. So I think this is gonna be one really, really awkward to film inside, but we're gonna. And then also I feel like they might have literally nothing. So my strategy is if I can't find anything, I'm just gonna make the outfit so bad. No. Yeah. You gotta. Cause like we can style it with our shit at home. Okay. You know, like jewelry, belts. Okay, fine. If I can't find anything, it's gonna be like basic. Yeah, exactly. We're looking for basics at least. Like something I'll wear again, I guess. All right, see you guys in there. The color of the week is purple. I'm not sure what that means. Olivia O'Brien. I hate you. Right, right, yes. Two minutes in, I already found a really good candidate. Honestly, not bad. I might work with this. We'll see. But like, imagine I just pull up with one of these. I'm like, haha, bitch, I win. Okay, so my strategy is to start with the pants because that's probably where I figure where I will struggle more. So I have two options right now, just like these pinstripe trendy pants and these leather pants from H&M but yeah so to make things so much more difficult like all of like this whole store is just jumbled so like there's literally like a size 10 and then like the next one's like fucking a size 2 like this is not making things easier and also these jeans are just so ugly like I couldn't even like distress them to make them look cute thumbs up this video if you ever wore jeans like this in high school like true religion-y miss me looking ass like white stitching just let me know down in the comments if you wore these like me unfortunately so I just walked over to the men's section because I was having absolutely no luck in the women's section. And basically I'm going for like a boyfriend jean, but I want to like distress it, like a light wash-ish. And I walk over to the men's section and they literally have like one pair of jeans. That's a size zero. That could honestly maybe work. Like I feel like if I just distress the fuck out of these and like maybe like bleach them, I think it would look cute. So we're going to try. We're going to try. Oh, I could be in luck. What the fuck? What's like Lambert, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> so close, but so far. One, this is a big mood, but this is also a big mood being at Goodwill. Like, they got rid of it. Like, I love that for them. Like, do I get this for Amari? Yes. How much is it? $1.99? Oh, oh my god, yes. I'll, I'll pay half. <laughs> now I'm in the fitting room, and I have these options for pants. So I have a pair of blue jeans that are just like some regular, like, weird Zayna dye brand that are just like some blue jeans. Then I have some, like, purpley gray black Levi's, some blue black Levi's, and then some black Levi's. And I want these ones to fit. Hopefully I want these ones to work the most, but we'll see what happens. These ones are the biggest, and then these two are the same size. So we'll have to see. And then for shirts, I got this, which is kind of like, okay. I could crop it, you know, whatever. But then I also saw this, which I don't know like what it is, but I do really like, like the font. I don't know, it's kind of cute, like, and I can crop it and like make it kind of cool, so I don't hate this. So I'm gonna try it on real quick and let's see. Okay, so I found my outfit. I'm super excited because when I usually go thrift shopping, I don't find anything I like. So this time I got lucky and I found a cute outfit that I would actually wear again, so. Noted, I am not a men's 39. Damn, I'm really sad these are the black ones and I really wanted them to fit. Low key, this one is like a size bigger, but it almost feels like tighter. I could be very wrong. Like they're still obviously way too big. So on to the next. Okay, so I just literally took these purple ones off of the hanger and it was just like, like I literally looked at them and I was like, no. So I tried on the blue ones and um, I feel like Britney Spears. <laughs> Or some shit. Or literally me in middle school. Like, this is so weird. They're so, like, low rise. Also, not the best fit. They just look so goddamn ugly. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so I was just standing waiting for Ashley to be done. And this guy literally just started chasing me around the store. Like, following me very fastly. And I'm, like, so scared because I'm alone. And it literally was just, like, weaving in and out of each aisle of clothes. Trying to, like, get away from this guy. And then he finally just stopped. 
Okay, so obviously the one thing I grabbed that fits the most is this prom dress. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it fit so good? No, I literally was like snug, like it's like snug to my body. Like I snagged myself a couple times, like zipping it. But um, none of my pants fit at all. So. Are you just gonna get that? No. That would have been like so good in like 2007. No, right? Like I definitely could have worn this back in the day, maybe. Like it would definitely would have been like a bit much, but it was probably better than whatever I wore. <laughs> now that we're finally done 10 years later, it's dark outside. Okay, so we just got home from Goodwill and now I'm about to start distressing these jeans to try to make them look a little bit cuter and then also cut the shirt. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Kind of gonna just like freehand it, use some like tweezers and scissors like I used to do back in the day. And yeah, I'll update you in a sec. Amari, so we were, not you, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> It's honestly not that bad. Such bad timing for me to like be in your video like this. So we were at Goodwill today mm -hmm. and uh, we saw something, we found something that reminded us of you, we handed it to So we made sure to get it. We hope you love. We hope you love. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Honestly, it looks really comfortable. No, it does, right? It's big, it's huh? It. I just like paste it on my body right now. You're like, what is it? It's a love Simon show that we found out the thrift store. Okay guys, so these are our final outfits. Um, we definitely literally went like yin and yang with this shit. Um, like complete opposites, but honestly, for like a classy look, I think Isabella did so good. And then for like an edgy like streetwear look, I feel like I did okay. Oh. My pants are definitely jeans. a little big, but after like ripping them up and distressing them, I feel like it like looks like I was kind of going for that kind of like vibe, like boyfriendy jeans. Comment down below what you think. Like, like Isabella or Ashley. <laughs> Okay, so your, what was your final total? $13. My final total was like 16-ish without Amari's shirt. So yeah, they're pretty much like the same amount. So like, let us know down in the comments who you think won. Also, Isabella's social media and channel will be linked down below. Make sure you go follow her if you're not already. I'm sure we're gonna be doing a video on probably like tomorrow type beat. So yeah. look out for that. All of my social media will be linked down below in the description. As always, we love you guys so much and we will see you in the next video.